It's week 14 of the National Football League. And coming up, we'll see Stephon Diggs. No one's been busier this season as he currently paces the NFL in receptions. It's the Bills and the Jets, and it comes your way next. Winner is just around the corner as you get a look at Highmark Stadium just south of Buffalo, New York. Today, it's a Week 14 matchup that should be a good one between the New York Jets and the Buffalo Bills. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you take a look at the Bills entering play here. They've been playing their best football of the year, winners of four in a row. Meanwhile, for the visiting Jets, they come off a disappointment last time out that put an end to their modest three-game win streak. stake their claim to postseason football. Week 14 of the NFL is underway. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. Now here come the Bills, and you don't have to look hard to find their fifth-year star QB taking seventh overall back in 2018, Josh Allen. And if you go by the numbers, he's had a Pro Bowl-type season. And maybe that's even selling him a little bit short. He's the NFL leader in touchdown passes to this point in the year. And with the end of the season not too far away, he's got his guys playing at a very high level. Allen looking to throw it right at the outset. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Cook. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. To throw again on second down, Allen. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Now Allen. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And yeah, this won't be enough. Stopped a yard short after a gain of three, fourth down. Obviously they didn't get everything they wanted on that completion. But they put themselves in a spot where you've got to at least think about going for it. I know where we are on the field, but still, you've got to think about it, don't you? We'll call it a 42-yard punt, three on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Well, we get our first look at this New York Jets offense, really retooled the last couple of seasons. And at the helm under center, second overall pick from 2021 out of BYU, Zach Wilson. Would you say that last week's performance by him, workmanlike in terms yeah. of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, and that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game. Maybe he leans on a few other parts of the offense and hopefully springs a receiver or two free. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Wilson. He finds Corey Davis. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 48-yard line. Wilson here, pass caught by Carter. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. The Jets at 7-5 and five now of the year. And they were losers their last time out. Trying to get back in the win column, but obviously not an easy task here in a hostile environment. Yeah, always tough to run away from home. But sometimes what you do is you use these types of games as bonding experiences and carry that into the contest. And a run with Carter. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. 
So from the 36 now, first and 10. On first and 10, it's home. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. To throw is Wilson. Open man is Uzama. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Well, they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4 of 4 on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease, feels good about what he's doing. I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that, I'm continuing to let him throw the football. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Hall on a give up the middle. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. To throw on second and six. Wilson, throw left side complete. That's Carter. Nothing on the screen that time. Now it's third down. From the gun, it's Wilson. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Pick made by Terrell Bernard. And the Bills are going to have it here at their own nine-yard line. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and ten. So after the INT, it's Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And yeah, they take this up near the 30 before he's taken down. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. Now a first carry for the brother of Dalvin. It's James Cook. The linebacker, C.J. Mosley, in on the stop. On second and nine, Allen setting up the screen for Cook. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. The left side caught by Diggs. And he is going to have the Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. From the gun, it's Allen. Looking for Diggs, and it's intercepted. Sauce Gardner picks it off. And the Jets are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. Well, we saw plenty of that during his much-heralded college career. He parlayed that into becoming a first-round selection. And now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is what he's got between his ears. And that's the sixth sense for knowing where the football is going. Just an excellent play there to create the turnover. So we take a look at the playoff picture in the AFC as the Jets come back out on offense. And I tell you, four weeks still to go, and everything is wide open, and it's fun. And I know we always talk about, well, if the playoffs were to begin today, and then we kind of go, okay, but they're not. Let's see how it plays out. Wouldn't it be fun to play with this playoff lineup right now? Because to me, just about anyone can win this whole thing out of this grouping we currently have. And by the time we get there, it may look entirely different. No score after one on EA Sports. The Jets with the football here to start the second quarter. As they've got it second and seven. Now it's Wilson. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this is caught. Touchdown. Jared Wilson with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Jets post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. 
After a fairly uneventful first quarter, that last play, that'll make a few highlight clips. It certainly will, and you're exactly right. The first quarter almost felt like a feeling out process, didn't it? Both teams, okay, what are we gonna do? Looks like they've ramped things up just a little bit to start the second quarter. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. He hasn't missed an extra point all season, and he won't miss this one either, and it's 7-0. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. As we roll on here in the month of December, week 14, coming up tonight, we got a good one in the AFC West. Get the parkas out, Kansas City and Denver from the frigid Empower Stadium at Mile High. And then tomorrow night, you can turn those parkas in for some shorts, golf polos, and flip-flops. Monday Night Football in Arizona. Patriots, Cardinals, 8:15 Eastern. And he's going to be pushed out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. Allen now looks to throw. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. Getting the sack, the 227-pound linebacker, Quan Alexander. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. A big play to start the drive got him in this position, but this defense has held firm since, and now it's third and goal. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. This will wind up a loss on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. I know we saw the pass and the completion, and obviously the resulting loss of yardage. To me, that play broke down with the blocking on it, because if you're going to try and swing it that far outside, that blocking's got to hold up to give your guy a chance. And the defense, they weren't fooled at all. No, not at all. Boy, were they aggressive on that one. The kick by Bass is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So the Turtles, they are on the board after that kick. So three drives, three points. Obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And all the way in, touchdown, New York. Officially an even 100 yards coast to coast on the kick return. And the Jets are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. So now the other return teams out there is they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And we will not see an attempt to match that return touchdown as this will be a touchback and bring it out to the 25. The Bills' offense back out onto the field. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Yeah, he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. They run the counter with Cook, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. The Bills on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and 11. Here's Allen to throw it. He'll dump this off to Cook. Finding space at the 40. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 
A big play that time on the catch and run. And the Bills will move the chains. Here's Allen on first and ten. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Bills. Isaiah McKenzie, 49 yards. And the Bills are back within a score. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right? R-A-C. Run after catch. And he loves that. And he's going to carry that in at contract time. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that makes it a 14-10 ball game. The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards. And it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. Braxton Berrios now from his end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. So already not the best to kick returns there, but that penalty, that adds insult to injury and backs him up even closer to the goal line. Yeah, not ideal field position to begin a drive, is it? Because the extra pressure now goes on the offense. They've got to get some early yards and get away from the shadow of their own goalposts. What every offense wants to do in this situation, get two first downs to help out with field position at the least. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Wilson. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And I think this is a situation where quarterback coaching the sidelines going to talk to a signal caller and say, listen, it's third and long, and it's still early in the game. Let's not force things here. If we don't feel good about it, let's just check something down and pump the football. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, looking back to that first quarter, they struggled, but now here in quarter two, they seem to have some rhythm. And it really shouldn't be a surprise to us because when we were in the production meetings, we asked a few of the players about, hey, what if things get a little rocky early? They all said the exact same thing. We're prepared, so we're confident things will work out. And so far, they have started to do so. Those three words we hear a lot, stay the course. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. So the shotgun snap to Allen. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. And complete right side to Cook. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. Now Allen again. Looking sideline incomplete. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down in back? And he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags. And I believe this is going to be a first down. So big turn of events there. They had him sacked on third down, but the hand of the face is going to give him new life. And when it comes to protecting quarterbacks, partners, you well know, these officials are not going to hesitate if they see a tug on the mask. Heck, if they see a hand up near the mask, the flag's going to come out. On first down, Allen. He will find Davis on the left side complete. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. 
Allen to throw once more. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for Knox. Second and seven from the 20. Now Allen. Throw right side, going to be complete to Moss. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. To throw, it's Allen. And Cook has it, left side. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? To the air, Allen. Looking for his man on the out route, and he's got Diggs. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Throwing now is Allen. And he's got his tight end knocks for a Bills touchdown. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Bills will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, they scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he's going to get this across the 20 as he's out of bounds at the 23. The Jets going to take over now late in this first half. A slim deficit here in a one possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. There's Wilson to throw. Able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. 22 yards there, a first down. Here's Wilson. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Second and 10, a very chilly day here, but no snow. And I gotta say, if it's gonna be this cold, I want snow. <laughs> you should see Charles' face. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the shotgun, Wilson. And that is incomplete. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. Open man here is Conklin. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 14. 23 yards the pick up there. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that will do it for this first half. So thanks to the late field goal, we are all tied up heading to intermission as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, let's get to some of these scores around the NFL here in a busy week 14. We'll get started up at Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. And it's the Browns who are out on top. Deshaun Watson has thrown a touchdown pass. 
From there, let's head to AT&T Stadium as we check out the Cowboys at home in Dallas. And they've got the lead over the visiting Houston Texans. Michael Gallup, a touchdown reception. Lastly, let's motor up to the Motor City. See what's happening with the Lions at home at Ford Field. And it's the visiting Minnesota Vikings who are out in front. Justin Jefferson, a touchdown reception. On now to a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Jets. And they've had plenty of success throwing the football so far this afternoon as they're on pace to throw for over 300 yards if their form holds. Meanwhile, for the Bills, they too were able to take advantage of a soft secondary. All right, we'll bypass the halftime show in favor of returning to this late season game with the teams coming back from the locker rooms here a bit early. All right, coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Barrios going to bring this out of the end zone. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Well, the Jets head out on offense here to start this third quarter. Well, this offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. That sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we see both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? And the boy showing how tough he can be to bring down, just fighting his way forward to pick up seven yards. From just shy of midfield, Wilson. He'll drop this underneath to Carter. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game. And there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it. And no adjustment has been made to take it away. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. This defense not fooled one bit on that touch pass. And this has become one of those kind of in vogue plays, you know, kind of like the shuffle pass was a few years ago. This one never got off the ground, but you understand why a lot of teams are running it. These wide receivers, a lot of them, they've run like running backs with the ball in their hands. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw complete there to Moore. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Wilson will throw again. He'll drop that down to Carter underneath. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A give running right is Hall. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. That burst good for 20 and a first down. They'll run with Hall. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. Second and goal from the one. Now it's Wilson. Got a man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Tyler Conklin, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Jets have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Wilson going to throw for it. And they're going to get the two-point conversion. This one's caught. And it stretches their lead up to eight. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. The football back to the Bills and Stephon Diggs. 
And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Allen going to throw. Flushed out right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Now these two teams faced off earlier in the year, right around midseason, back in week nine. And it was the visitors getting the win there, so they'll be looking for the sweep back here at home. Allen's throw is complete, and he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. 40 yards on the punt, two on the return, and the Jets' offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and 10. All eyes on Zach Wilson leading his team back out for this next drive. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, all right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head hit fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they know how to push off at the end of a route, too. He's up to 87 yards receiving now, and it's a first down. Straight ahead is Hall. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Throwing is Wilson. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 43. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. On first down, Wilson. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And the Bills are going to get the football back as time will run out in this third quarter of play. Back now in Buffalo. The Bills have the football, but they trail here as we begin quarter number four. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. Fighting to get back to the goal line. I don't think he got there. He did not. Did not get back there. It's a safety. So that a double whammy. Not only do you have to give away the football, but the two points, that means this is now a two-score game. Yeah, and that's tough to deal with, isn't it? This little time left. Those two points doesn't seem like a lot, but it means everything now. Those are going to be the ones we're going to look back on. Those two points right there, the play of the game. Oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and ten. At about the 32, they'll start this drive with a handoff to Carter. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. From the gun, it's Wilson. Over the middle complete, it's Wilson. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 
He has a first down, and that catch will also put him over 100 yards receiving now on the afternoon. And he's top five in the league in terms of receiving yardage because of plays like that. What have you seen from him on film that you like so much? Well, I'll strip away everything else and get to what we call the moment of truth. When the ball's arriving and there's a defender there, he just comes down with the ball. He competes and takes it away. Great hands, great ability to finish the catch. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory. Down at the 33. A handoff for Hall. Tackled by Jordan Willis. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Ball again. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. On second down, a run with Hall. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point in the game. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Tyler Conklin with touchdown number two in the game and now 11 on the year. And the Jets look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Zerline now for the PAT. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it ends with a Jet touchdown. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback. And they'll begin at the 25. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And their four-game win streak very much in jeopardy as they go to work here late with a first and ten. Allen now looks to throw. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Here's Allen. On the slant, he's got Davis. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. And boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. And that, in a nutshell, shows you what this guy's made of. I mean, most guys in the NFL just can't do that. He absorbed the contact, refocused himself, and made a break for the end zone. That is caught at the seven. And the Bills are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Allen going to try and keep it. And this will result in him losing yardage back to the three. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. He kept it in his hands and tried to push it across the goal line himself, but the defensive front wouldn't allow him to do so, bringing up second down and a bit farther. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Now Allen. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Gabriel Davis from three-yard town. And the Bills have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Jets have got it. 
Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Hall again on second down. And he gets it down to the 32. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll go again with Hall. Down to about the 22 here. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. Here's a give to Hall. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Hall. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to pose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive, and like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. And the Jets are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. And sometimes when you run a screen pass down in the red zone, it's really tough to create a lot of room to operate. The field's pretty condensed, but that was really well designed there, and they're able to pick up the first down. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Wilson wants to throw it. They'll set up the screen for Hall. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A lot of tired bodies on that field. But this is a big play, third and goal. Wilson to throw. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Tyler Conklin from a yard out. And the Jets are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. And Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. Yeah, that's multiple series now that have ended with him in the end zone. A perfect plan on how to utilize him best when they get in close. Now Zerline on and the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it now. And solid field position here to start as they get this out to the 40-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. Well, the lopsided affair finally coming to an end, and really no shortage of big plays for us to examine, partner, on offense or on defense for this team. They were so well-rounded in this one. They certainly were, and how about the day those defenders had, though? How many takeaways did they have? I quit counting after a while. They were clearly the better team, and their defensive effort, it led the way. So for the Jets, it's an important win for their playoff hopes as they move to 8-5. And, and they'll return home next week to take on the Detroit Lions. Meanwhile, for Buffalo, it's a loss that could have implications on the playoff race as they fall to 9-4. And, and they will be at home next week to take on the Miami Dolphins.